Hey guys, Jarrell here, back with another TV reaction. We are on to episode 7 of season 2 of The 100. Now the last one took me by surprise. I should have seen it coming, but for some reason I didn't. Whilst Kane and uh, Jaha were down in that pit, they brought another girl in, who we thought was just another prisoner. Turns out it was the commander, and she was just there to listen and watch their actions and what they said to see if they were genuine about trying to come up with some sort of peace treaty with them. Problem being, she's now sent Jaha back as a warning for them to all leave and they've got two days because in her words, blood for blood, you sent someone into our camp which was Finn and he massacred what was it 18 people including children so Finn is the one who's responsible for pretty much getting them completely in the shit with this also the 47 have realized with Jasper's help after his sort of girlfriend explained that it was all a setup and what they are really here for and showed them all the grounders that they are taking the blood from. So they've all had to volunteer to make out like everything's perfectly fine until Clark can come and rescue him. So it's a major priority right now. And I think that'll do for this one. So let's just carry on and see what happens. Sit back, relax. This is episode seven. Who the hell's this? <laughs> ah! Well, they're watching her. I have a feeling Dave. Um. Dosed her. Knocked her out. Thrown her outside and see if it works. Oh, crap. It doesn't work. Do you trust her not to talk? Someone needs to throw her Might out. Might as well get a full rating. Because Kane went looking for peace, he's given us a chance to move on without bloodshed. And where's Marcus now? If we run, who's going to rescue them? You weren't there, Abby. I saw them. Warriors trained since childhood to fight and die for their cause. By now, you've all heard the rumor. And unfortunately, it's true. The grounders are coming. You need to come back with me right now. Wait, what's happened? I'll explain on the way. You med kid, meet me at Raven's Gate. To say someone else. Yeah. We have another issue. It's been restrained. And you melt weather controlled the Reapers. I had no idea they were creating them. You can do that to Lincoln. What are they doing to our friends? Yeah. As long as it seems like we're cooperating, we're buying ourselves time. I say if we're gonna die in here, we might as well die trying to escape. All right then, we escape. No. We find the truth. How do we do that? We're criminals, right? So let's be criminals. Mm. Needle marks. You think he's been drugged? Maybe. As soon as we find someplace safe, we'll figure out a way to get them. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. The guard is leading the evacuation. The other parents with missing kids aren't going anywhere either. No. We can protect them. You can't. I'm ordering you to die. You can't order people to How leave. They're on the ground now. Sergeant, pack your things. Report no. to Major Byrne. The Granders attack at dawn. I want every man, woman, and child out of this camp by then. Is that clear? If treatments using their blood give us temporary immunity, how do we extend that immunity forever? By going to the source of their blood. Bone marrow. Every one of the 47 would die. Yeah. He'll never go for that. You have to convince him. Kate. We could be living on the ground within a month. Once the drug is out of his system, he'll be okay. 
You can't protect me from this one, big brother. Oh, it's him. Stop it, stop it! Back off! Right now! You can't play stay old enough. It's what they say before death. There it's could not. be a way to bring him back. None that I've ever seen. His heart stops. Move. Could this get any more complicated? He's never seen he that dead. before. How did you do that? CPR. You've tried bringing Reapers back before? Nope. And they died like this. What is it? I know how to stop the attack. This password protected. Gotta find something. We'll see about that. We haven't been able to negotiate with the Grounders because we haven't had anything to offer them. The biggest threat they face is from the Reapers. True. I think we may be able to eliminate that threat for them once and for all. Abby, we're wasting time. <sighs> Give me the authority now. Hold on. We don't even know what he's withdrawing from. We are risking everything on bluff, Abby. We have an out. We have a way to save the lives of our people. Not all of them. We will come back to save the kids. They'll be dead. The we all know that's not going to happen. Abby, this is going on. If you do not give the order to begin the exodus, you are killing us all. Happy. Give the order. No. No. <laughs> I am the elected Chancellor of the Ark. I am relieving Dr. Griffin of her command. Place these three into custody, but make sure that they are ready to leave with the rest of us. Right now, Major! Or the blood of everyone in this camp will be on your hands, too. Put Chancellor Jaha in the stockade. <laughs> this is intense. Yes, ma'am. Damn, look good. Wow. They're alive. If you so much as look at her the wrong way, I will slit your throat. You're the one who burned 300 of my warriors alive. Do you have an answer for me, Clark of the Sky People? I've come to make you an offer. This is not a negotiation. Take a frag on mob and dis on. Back all done. Go on. Hundreds of your people are trapped inside Meltweather. Kept True. in cages. Their blood is used as medicine. How do you know this? Because I saw them. My people are prisoners there, too. I was one of them. Lies. No one escapes the mountain. I did. The only way to save both our people is if we join together. Those who are about to die will say anything. I'm still waiting for an offer, Clark. The mountain men are turning your people into reapers. I can turn them back. Impossible. Head eyes that be go down. Tay I, Frank Amor. I've done it with Lincoln. That traitor is the reason In the that village was slaughtered by your people. And plenty! You say you can turn Reapers back into men? Prove it. Yes. Then prove it. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Show me Lincoln. It all hinges on this now. Now, please tell me you can save him, Abby. <laughs> You're screwed. Thanks to the supplies your brother found, Lincoln might have a chance. What's that? Does it bring down his fever? <laughs> Hold him down! Why isn't it working? His heart stopped.
door to hit. Yeah. Don't look it up. You're stopping. What's your help? I'm sorry. He's going. No, it's not possible. You're wrong. Octavia. <laughs> Can't you jolt his heart with one of them sticks? God damn it. Please. You don't have to do this. You lied. And you're out of time. That's what I would have done. Hit him again. Yes. It worked. What do you think of that? in shock. Harper didn't show for breakfast. You guys seen her? Not since Dante's office. Don't worry. This won't hurt. Bastard. I just want to go. Holy shit. We just have to keep them alive long enough for the drug to leave their system. I know we can do the same for others. You may have your truce. I just need one thing in return. Tell me. Deliver me the one you call Finn. Of course. begins with his death. Yeah. I actually think that's more than fair and more than reasonable with the extent of what Finn did. In any other scenario, he would either be in prison for life or he would be executed. So what is the difference? You can't take 18 lives as a single person expect to just walk away as I made a mistake. No, I'm sorry. Doesn't work that way. So she, the commander, is right. What's her name? Le Lexa, was it? I agree with her completely. It's so strange to watch a medical procedure that we know for it to look like magic and wizardry to them because they have no understanding of how the human body works. They do, but all in limited tribal sense. That was actually really good. Jaha, I'm sorry, is... He may have been able to rule with an iron fist up there and it work and you're in a contained space and you either do as you're told or you get put in prison but down here you're on the ground it doesn't work that way anymore you've got to learn to live with these people you run now you will always run this was the exact same argument we had in season one when they were all about to leave the camp and in the end realized that the 45 area of the camp was the best place he has crossed the line but thankfully Abby did not bow to him but then again tables turned he wouldn't either I noticed we didn't get to see Kane in that at all I'm presuming he's under guard back at their camp and now they've figured out um, the mountain people have figured out that it's only the bone marrow that will sustain them above ground. They need to mount a rescue plan, plan as soon as possible because they've already started the first go there. Damn. I don't know what else to say. Um, that was a brilliant episode. It, it was tense throughout that whole episode because you knew that they were coming and the way that she managed to save Lincoln. I did figure it out though. I did say, why don't you just shock him with that stick and maybe it may restart his heart and it's exactly what she did. Fabulous. So, you have 
a truce with them as long as you give up Finn let's see if they do that in the next episode I have a horrible feeling because Clark is so stubborn that she's not going to give him up but it's the only way forward whether Clark and Abby have a different take on it because ultimately it's probably not down to Clark it's down to Abby we will see right guys that was episode 7 of The 100. We'll be back with the next episode fairly soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you know when the next one is available. I pretty much release a video every day of the week now. But it depends. You may be waiting for this particular series. So I'll be back very soon with the next one. So thank you very much for watching guys. So until the next one, take care.